I'm Keep Going Cat, and this is the Just Peachy Workout. Let's get started with a warm up. We're starting off with 30 lateral steps. Here I'm using a resistance band. You can do this with or without. Come down into a slight squat position and tap your foot back and forth. If you're using a band, really push and work against that band throughout this 30 reps. Right into bounce squats. So for these, you're gonna squat down, give two little bounces, and then come up and squeeze. So you see me drop it low, bounce, bounce, come up and squeeze the glutes at the top of every rep. Moving on to kickback, so you can plant your hands on a chair, a bench, on your couch, and then kick your legs straight back. So for these, I'm using a resistance band. Again, you can do this with or without a set of resistance bands. Kicking your legs straight back, really focus on squeezing your glute at the top of every rep. So you can see me take a slight pause and really engage my glute at the top. I'm in a perfect 45 degree angle here, so really keeping the back straight throughout. You will repeat that warm up three times and move on to circuit number one. Starting with deadlift, so you're doing 10 reps here, running those dumbbells down along your shins, coming up squeezing the glutes at the top. So you're gonna come down to where you're almost making a tabletop position with your back, running the dumbbells along, squeezing the glutes at the top of every rep. Really focus on engaging. Every single rep counts here. Then set down your dumbbells. You're gonna move right into curtsy lunges for 20 reps. So cross the thighs, come down, bring your knee down as far as it can go. You can really feel your abductor, so that side top part of your glute get engaged with these. If 20 reps is too advanced, you can always drop it down to 10 reps here pushing right through. You're going to repeat this circuit according to your level. Moving on to circuit number two. Starting off with a plyometric move, we're doing gate swings. So you start with feet together, jump out wide into a sumo squat. You're doing 10 reps here. Drop it as low as you can with every rep. If this is too advanced for you, you can always swap this out for a sumo squat. Then grab that dumbbell. We're going into a low lunge for 10 reps alternating. So you keep it low, lunge one leg back, alternating for 10 reps here. So five reps each side, alternating for 10 total. Set down that dumbbell and then move right into alternating butt kicks for 30 reps. Really light on the toes here. So here I'm not clunking down on my foot. I'm kind of keeping it on the ball of my foot throughout, alternating, kicking myself in the booty for 30 reps. Keep that heart rate up throughout. Repeat the circuit according to your level and then move on to circuit number three. If you have a resistance band, you can put that back on. We're doing feet elevated bridges. So here you would use your couch or a chair. You could even go up against the wall and you're going to do 10 reps here, pressing up, squeezing the glutes, focus on tilting your pelvis up. So almost like Michael Jackson, tilt that pelvis up and squeeze the glutes up and in at the top of every single rep. Squeeze and hold, take your time with these. Moving on to kick over. So start with your foot on the outside of your mat, kick up and over as if you're kicking up and over an arch. 10 reps each side. So each time you kick up and over is one rep. Switch and do the other side, kicking up and over with every rep. Burn out the glute at the end here with dirty dog raises for 10 reps each side. Again, take your time with this. Make sure you're really working on your mind to muscle connection, focusing on engaging the glute throughout this. Repeat the circuit according to your level. I wanted to throw some trainer notes at you. If you do not have resistance bands, again, do not skip this workout. You can do this without resistance bands. All these moves can be done without. For your deadlifts, make sure you are squeezing and coming up and squeezing at the top of every single rep really flat back, running the dumbbells along your shins. When you're doing your dirty dog raises, don't slouch your shoulder down. Make sure you have a nice straight arm with shoulders directly above your wrists. Make sure you tag me after you get your workouts done. I would love to cheer you on. 